Welcome back, Pez fans. A much requested tournament comes to you courtesy of the Beijing Olympics in 2008. You could be a gold medalist yourself by liking and subscribing. It's a Shanghai showdown between the gold medalists of the 2004 Olympics, Argentina, and newcomers, the Ivory Coast. Both teams collided in the 2006 World Cup. All of the eyes of the tournament will be on Lionel Messi. Who could have foresaw that 15 years ago, one of world football's most exciting players would go on to become one of the game's greatest living legends. Kudabali comes back on himself to meet Sekou Sise. Ripples the roof of the net. First corner of the game. And it's glanced in for the first goal of the game. Just moments ago, it was nothing but a dry run for Sekou Sise. The practice pays off. Ivory Coast stun the gold medalists with the most delicate of glancing headers. Levetsi lays it off for Lionel Messi. There's an early warning to Vincent Angaban. Messi. Here is Aguero. And McCrone flicks it on first time. He startles Angaban. And is cleared off of the goal line. An innocuous stumble as Levetsi couldn't follow up. And Raquelme with a howler of a miss. Gosson is cornered by Raquelme and Monzon. And Hervé Cambu has strolled in, uninterrupted, undisturbed. And the Ivorians take a precious two goal lead over Argentina here in Shanghai. They've just let him stroll through. It's an unbelievable calamity from the Argentinian defence. Looks like Messi's going to go all out. Wrong side of the goal net. McCrollamy. A bit more urgency in the footwork of the Argentinians. McCrollamy finds Aguero. It's a direct hit on Angban. And the danger's still alive. Messi. Trying to find an opening. And he's laid it off to McCrollamy. It's captured comfortably by the keeper. Just seconds remaining of the first half. Messi launches one in and it's Aguero who was on standby to give Argentina a lifeline. Heading into the second half of the game. Messi with a final few blades of grass left on the pitch. Loops one in. It's cancelled out. Only for Aguero to poach a goal. Just over one hour played. And it's punted in by Levetsi. And it's tucked home by Aguero. For the brace in Argentina. Have equalised with the Africans. And you may be correct in thinking that the Ivorians are tiring. Continues on with Monzon. Eva Benega. Forcing a stunning save. Surely the last goal of the game. And it's the last goal of the game too. And probably going to be far from the last we see of Sergio Aguero. It's a hat-trick. In Argentina's opener of the Olympic Games. They've come back from the brink of certain defeat. Turning around a two-goal deficit. Into a victory. It's Ivory Coast 2. Argentina 3. A little bit closer to Australia's part of the world here in Shanghai. Oceania is a lot closer to Asia than Serbia is. However, this will be the Serbian's first international tournament as a single country appearing at the 2006 World Cup as Serbia and Montenegro. And they share a group with Argentina who destroyed them by six goals in Gelsenkirchen. It's played into Rakic. He lays it off, it's a scuff! Sent Federecki questioning himself. And a clip strike from Nikola Gulan. 
Archie Thompson, it's a wonderful take. It would have been a fabulous goal. Held in by Kolarov. Held forward, Rakic. Oh, it's a blind header from Dorde Rakic. Always a delightful goal to witness. Always delightful to see a goal scored by a chain of headers. Especially one where your back is entirely to goal. In Eastern Europe, they call that making chicken soup out of chicken shit. Zoran Tosic, it's a name Manchester United fans might remember, cuts inside and wails it well wide. It would have been an ambitious textbook cutting goal. As Tosic once again trying to replicate what he sought to accomplish earlier. The Socceroos achieve doo doo. It's Australia nil, Serbia won. Tears of the sky in Tianjin as Netherlands take on the 1996 gold medalists Nigeria. A predominantly youthful Dutch team captained by the Bayern Munich veteran Roy Mackay. The Super Eagles on a World Cup sabbatical, they won't return until 2010 in South Africa. Drenthe. Now here's Emanuelsen. Madeira onto Ryan Barbel, he's well away. Barbel finds the top corner. Enigmatic fashion. Fantastic start for the Dutch. Just shy of 10 minutes. Liverpool's new boy, Ryan Barbel, initiates the goal scoring floodlights. Pinging cross, searching for Erden Wingy. West Brom fans might remember that name too. Victor Abinia on the march and Verme comes out and Abinia squanders a chance to curl it into the bottom corner. Drenthe. Young Apin sends that down the line. Back to Drenthe. Mackay! It's a belting header. Not much that Vendekin could do about it. One of the tiniest keepers in the tournament. But the veteran Roy Mackay of Bavarian fame. He's back in the heart once again here in Tianjin. Sani Keita is still going. And Keita gets a touch of fortune. A very unorthodox goal. It looks like the final touch may have come. Off with the defender Dirk Marcellis. It's off to keep off Marcellis but... It will be Keita who will claim the goal. Mackay tries to knock it on. And Venzekin just barely keeps it in play. That was close to crossing the line. Too casual for my liking. He's pinged back. Towards Odin Wingy, he comes so close. Odin Wingy is blocked. And the play is still alive. Helped on and it's the direct hit from Abinia, shut down by Vermeer and desperately cleared away. Netherlands 2, Nigeria 1 here in Tianjin. Good start for the Dutch at the Olympic Games. This will be the third meeting in football history between World War II enemies Japan and the United States. They both have one win apiece. And both teams fare quite well in the Olympic Games overall. This will be their chance to write themselves into gold medal folklore in the football tournament. Shasha Cleaston makes an advance. And it's Freddy Adu who sucks it in for a routine goal. One of the most anticipated players in the early 2000s, Freddy Adu. Seeking a career revival in the Olympic Games. Marvel White. Twisting and turning. Japan could be in further trouble here. It's another easy goal for Freddy Adu. Two goals. In just a short span of time. 
Maybe the corporate conglomerates are lining up their contracts for further endorsements for Freddy Adu. Here is Honda. Couldn't wrap it around. The keeper, Brad Guzan. Honda once again. This time forces a corner for Japan. That's curled in. It's, oh, it's a ricochet off the crossbar. How close can Kagawa get? Adu. Michael Orozco with a cross in to Brian McBride. The Fulham legend. And the United States captain. Reliving that early 2000s glory. A World Cup hero of 2002. And a Fulham alumni. And that's held wide by Takiya Honda. It's a poor one for Japan. They're struggling to get their foot back in this game. Made off to Adu. And he's tucked it in for goal number three. It's the second hat trick of match day one at the Olympic Games. Freddie Adu. Reliving the glory days. And Japan have been bombed once again by the United States. It's quite a surprise that Brazil, one of the most successful teams in world football, have never won a gold medal at the Olympic Games. The closest they came was in 1988 against the Soviet Union. They picked up a silver medal that year. However, it's far from a shy turnout in Shenyang. They've all come to see Ronaldinho, who captains Brazil as they take on the Red Devils of Belgium. Martins with the cross in. It's a kamikaze attempt from Dembele. And the danger still alive. Morales has peeled it wide. Kevin Morales looks up and finds Dembele. He returns it to Kevin Morales and he scored, but it won't count. He's just barely offside. Pato clips a crossbar. Or should I say the post? My apologies. And Dembele. That's back to Jan Vertonghen, who's been dispossessed. And Pato has squeezed it in. Well, the two would be reunited at AC Milan. Ronaldinho and Alexander Pato, two of the Italian bad boys in Serie A. Well, this time he's the good one. Brazil take the lead. Oh, that's an ambitious one. It was dipping with violent velocity. Here's Dembele. Got to go all by himself, and he couldn't keep it down. He just gets over the ball. Ronaldinho called into action. It's squeezed onto the post by Logan Bailey. Tipped away by Renan. Great save. Pato holding up the play. Ronaldinho catches up. And it's a Milan reunion here in Shenyang. Ronaldinho gets the goal they've all turned out to see in a packed arena at the Olympic Games Brazil off to a fantastic start it's Brazil 2 Belgium 0 it's time for the hosts of the Olympic Games to kick off their campaign China would in typical fashion go on to do a clean sweep of the gold medals all across the disciplines and if there's any better time to do so in the football tournament it would be now in their own backyard they take on neighbours New Zealand from Oceania and Han Peng takes it early and it's just a whisker away Sam Jenkins with an opportunity for New Zealand he's got Killen in the centre but he goes for it by himself here is Elliot. Brokey chips it up to Jenkins. And it's a goal for New Zealand. But it's not going to count. It appears Sam Jenkins is just offside. Seconds ticking away for the underdogs of the Olympic Games. And with the last roll of the dice, China. Roll a double six. Han Peng. The striker who plays his football for Shandong Taishen 
has lifted himself into the heroic books of Chinese football. Is China 1, New Zealand 0. Eight years ago, Cameroon earned a gold medal against Spain in a penalty shootout in Sydney. Tonight, they open Group D as they take on South Korea. The hosts of the 2002 World Cup climbed to the dizzying heights of the semi-finals. Kim Dong-jin has gained away to Serge Ngao. That's a close call for South Korea. It's a corner to the Koreans. Off the crossbar. Here is Shadu. Deep cross looking for Ngal. Bebe has a belt. Oh my god. Hit me, baby, one more time. Gustav, baby. With a beautiful goal. It's a number one hit. It traveled in slow motion. It looked like an underwhelming wide strike. And it somehow curls in. Beyond Jung Sun Young. South Korea on the back foot, here is Serge Ngal. who has nothing but pace on his side, it's Ngal one on one and he slots it beyond. Jung Sun Young and Cameroon surely have three points, but uh, there's that they are going to be unlikely to lose now. Running and running and it's rolled beneath the keeper. Ngal, maybe Cameroon have one more in them. It's Ngal once again. Into the center. To Gustav Baby. An arousing goal out for the young Lions of Cameroon. It's a great start in the group they share with the Italians and the world champions. It's Cameroon 3, Korea 0. Onwards and upwards for Honduras in world football. The CONCACAF representatives will appear in their first ever World Cup in just two years time. But speaking of World Cups, they have a tough task ahead of them. They're taking on the current champions of the world, Italy. Here comes Giuseppe Rossi. Might be a name well known to Manchester United fans. Silvestri. Back to Giuseppe Rossi, and it's Montalivo. Fired straight down the middle of the goal. And Kevin Hernandez, perhaps he blinked. Perhaps he's just too slow, too small, but Montalivo is the biggest name on the field the so far. The Fiorentina midfielder fires the Azieri into the lead. Giovinco squares it to Aquafresca. Officially an Inter Milan player. Currently on loan at Cagliari. Well, Robert Aquafresca has extended the Italian foothold on Honduras. Deep cross in, searching for Giovinco. Sigarini enters his plea for a goal of the tournament, but it's not a goal, so no chance. Giovinco off the crossbar. And it's kept alive by Silvestri. Beautiful pass over the top to Giovinco. The Juventus wonder boy nails the ball to the top corner of the goal net. One of the old ladies' what ifs. Currently on loan to Empoli in the Serie A. Free kick situation for Honduras. Oh, it's in! Well taken. It's a wonderful goal who actually plays his football here in China for Shanghai Shenhua. And tonight he gives Honduras a lifeline. And Rossi's attempt at a free kick. It pays dividends in the rebound. Giuseppe Rossi, a fantastic volley. It's not easy at all with such little time to react. And that might be a goal of the tournament contender. On the half volley, and it's spooned over the keeper. Surely Italy's game 
Surely three points for the Azuri and the world champions. Well, it's Lopez who's gone on through. I might have spoken too soon. Have I just cursed the Italians? Luis Lopez rounds Vivino for a pretty casual goal by the Honduran standards. Excellent finish with the tight angle considering. Giovinco. Here is Montalivo. It's still Montalivo. And he drills it into the bottom corner. Hernandez didn't have the heart to get his kit dirty and move for that one. And surely it's beyond reach. And with a already morally wounded South Korea coming up next for the Italians. It's looking good at the Olympic Games. It's Honduras 2, Italy 5. Time for the table roundup. Current gold medalists Argentina are top of the table with Serbia. USA and Netherlands are at the forefront of Group B. Brazil are brilliant in Group C, so is China, as well as Italy, top of the table alongside Cameroon. Two hat tricks on match day one shared between Sergio Aguero and Freddy Adu. Montalivo and Bebe are catching up and Ronaldinho as an honourable mention. So who's your favourite to lift the gold medal at the Olympic Games? It's a much requested tournament and it's finally here. Thank you as always for watching Pez fans, I'll see you on match day two.